Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC out in the wilds again testing out another awesome piece of gear from Vericeleca. What we're here today to look at is the Sarma Windproof Smock. Now just to add to this, so recently, when was it? It was probably about five, maybe six weeks ago, uh, we I had a look at the Sarma TST L4 Recon Smock. Now the Sarma TST range specifically are designed for that kind of military look and feel whereas the Sarma range, Sarma being their own kind of their, their, their own internal range, the Sarma range is designed to be less military looking and more just something geared towards somebody that wants to be outdoors and keep themselves protected from the elements. That's not to say however that if you wanted to uh, put a, um, a vest underneath this that you could certainly do that because there is ample room within this to do that but you know these are part of the things that we'll, we will have a look at today. Before I start though just to give you a little bit of height breadth, depth information about me. I'm 5'10", I have a 48 inch chest, 36 inch waist. Um, generally, I'll go for a large, but I checked on the Veristeleco website, I checked my measurements and it said I should go for the extra large. I've gone for the extra large. This is an extra large on me and it fits perfectly actually. Um, it feels a bit strange ordering an extra large, but I went for the measurements and the measurements were just right. It is designed to be a little bit larger than say a normal kind of casual, uh, I don't know, fashion style item, mainly because of the nature of this, because it's designed to be worn outdoors and it's also designed to be an outdoor uh, or at least part of a three layer system. Um, We'll have a look at the, fi the fixtu fixtures in this, but you can also get one of the liners for this, um, which then you know will help uh, help help to keep you warm. But yes, so extra large fits me just right. From what I've seen from the measurements, then yeah, they're great. As far as materials and colours are concerned, colours wise uh, there is a black version, uh, the one that I'm sporting today is the green version and there is a blue version, almost kind of like a like a Royal Navy kind of blue which is which is also quite nice. Um, but what you'll find with these is that they're all flat colourways rather than having any kind of specific camo options. Um, it's crafted all from a poly cotton blend. Um, and it is stitched in such a way that the material is as dense as possible and as the name suggests this will stop it from the wind. Now <laughs> the old gods have shined on me perfectly today because you might be able to hear in the background that there's quite a lot of wind today so blowing through the trees it's stopping all of that. I don't feel any wind underneath here whatsoever. As mentioned before, so I am I am wearing an underlayer underneath here just to keep me warm. Um, but I will say, so if I and I will do a piece of content where I compare the L4 smock and this smock. But I have found that this smock is definitely warmer. So a few weeks back, I went out into the roaches and I made some content on uh, some rocky talky walkie talkies, and I had those that had I had this on at the time. This one is definitely warmer than the L4 smock and not necessarily because it has any thermal properties. This isn't a lined jacket, it is just this single piece um, of poly cotton blend. But because it has the ability to be able to reduce the wind uh, as, as it comes through this, then you'll find it will help to keep you that extra little bit warmer. Um, I did find that I had to manage kind of being hot quite a bit. Luckily, underneath the armpits, and there are two zips, so you can go up from the bottom or you can go down from the top. Um, I, I did have to kind of unzip my armpits to help to manage my heat quite a bit. Um, but yes, definitely, definitely nice in the fact that one protects you from the warm and also it, it does help to keep some of that heat in. Now, as far as the features are concerned, um, we'll, we'll kind of go around as I usually do. So we'll start on the front here. Now, as far as the zip, so this is a full zip. Zip goes all the way up. It's, it's uh, rather than being kind of an anorak that will stop there, it does, it does go all the way down. The zips on here are YKK zips. And look at the size of those beasts. They are massive. Is that a size 10? 
And now these are size eight. Jeez, they're massive. Uh, but they zip all the way up from the bottom. Uh, the zip is relatively simple to do, but what I will say is where, where there is a, a Canadian button situated right down here, just by the zip. What I found is, is if you put your thumb on the Canadian button and pinch it a bit, it makes it easier to be able to get the zip into the zip tracks and be able to pull it up. It's not a complaint, it's more of an observation that that button is just a little bit close to the zip at the bottom. But as I say, give it a bit of a pinch, it shifts it out of the way and then you can, you can zip it all the way up. And when I say all the way up, so you do have some beard protection here at the top for your facial pubes. And then you have, uh, you have a large hood or a rain hood that goes across the front here. Now as far as the rain is concerned, I've tested this in what I'd consider to be a light rain and a medium rain. Um, there's been a few weekends that I've been watching my daughter play football and it rained. You know, that's what we get here in the UK. Kept me dry, didn't have any issues whatsoever. I haven't tested this in a heavy rain. Um, it, it isn't completely designed to be waterproof. It is water resistant. Um, there is a PU lining as well on the inside. And I'll say it's not lined, but that I suppose on the, on the back of the material. It's a very light PU covering, which again will help if the rain does uh, kind of seat into the material it will help to stop some of that coming through uh, but yeah this hood does really well and it also uh, on the on the kind of the wind stopping side or the wind proof side it will also to help to stop any of the wind coming through uh, coming through the zip on the front now okay back to these buttons uh, so running across so these are Canadian buttons. Now the ribbon that goes through the Canadian buttons, if you don't know the difference between a Canadian button and a normal button is, a normal button has the four holes and then you have cotton that goes through them. A Canadian button has two large slits and they have this ribbon that runs all the way through it. So the ribbon goes all the way up to the top, one continuous piece of ribbon to make sure that it's as tough as possible all the way down to the bottom. And then you can use these to cover that rain hood to stop it from flapping um, if there's if there's a lot of wind now these buttons are massive so if you're concerned about dealing with buttons when you've got gloves on when you've got wet hands all of that sort of stuff definitely don't worry about these if you're getting in and out of cars a lot and you need to the zip will open up from the bottom so that you can zip that up so that you can take a seat a little bit better and then when you're back out pull it back down again pull your buttons across and then yes, you're all ready to go. Coming through to the pockets, the pockets are, I guess, what I'd consider a fairly typical four pocket layout, which is called a four pocket layout, but really it's, it's actually eight because you have two pockets on the breast, two pockets down by your waist, and then there are kind of pockets inside of them. Two, the two on your chest here are identical, by the way. Uh, so they, they lift up and they have rollover pockets, which I think again are brilliant that they've added these to them, very similar to the uh, to the L4 smock. So rollover pocket, if you see, this is this is the actual crease here, but the opening past, passes past the crease. So just on the side here, hopefully you're able to see that, that opening passes past that. Uh, so to stop any rain, debris, all of that kind of dirt and grime from getting in there, these are really good. And then you have a large Canadian button to keep this back down then as I mentioned same on each side uh, over your uh, over your right side there is also some hook and loop lining a uh, hook and loop on here just in case you wanted to put something on there then behind each of the pockets you then have pull down zippers to a pocket that's situated behind it now this pocket oh <laughs> I forgot I got my car keys in there uh, these pockets are huge so it goes all the way through here to where that stitch is uh, in the um, on, on, on the inside there and as far as the height so there is another stitch on the yoke of the jacket here uh, and that goes all the way up to there as well great for gloves great for hats and you can fit uh, you can fit a map into these if you need to these start at the top and they pull down to open so that you can get access Kind of cheating it a little bit whereas the l4 these are at the top and you and, uh, no these are at the bottom and you pull them up uh, to uh, to 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 get access there's also another little piece of hook and loop here on the front again just in case you were uh, you want to put something in there or on there as such 
Now moving down to the uh, the pockets here at the bottom. Both of these pockets are identical, whether it's on the left or the right, they're both the same. So we'll look at this one on the right here now for a second. Uh, but you also you also have uh, turnover pockets on these. These pockets are huge, so my span from here to here is exactly nine inches. I can put my hand in there and, well, that's roughly about nine inches. So there's plenty of room. As far as the depth on these, you know, certainly nothing to worry about. You can fit pretty much whatever you need to in these pockets. And then in addition to those, so these are your farmer style top down pockets. They were also shooter pockets behind these where you come in from the side. What I really like about these is, so these have a fleece lining on the inside. So if you do have cold hands, like I say, you're watching your kids play football, freezing in the biting wind and the rain, and it's coming down sidewards because, you know, that's what spectators have to deal with when they're watching football. Um, yeah, hands and knees. Yeah, you're certainly not going to be, well, you're going to be a bit gutted that you forgot your gloves that day, but not as gutted as you would have been if you hadn't got fleece lined pockets. Another nice little feature on these is, so with the with the top-down farmer style pockets, these are these are the these are the the the, uh, the, the loop over pockets. Uh, so with these, so these don't have a zip or anything to kind of stop anything from going in. So what they've done with this is on the inside, so you can feel it when you put your hand in. Uh, but they have put some grommets into these so that, let's say for some reason, maybe some water or some dust or whatever dust, dust. Uh, some dirt or anything gets into these, uh, then it will help that. Uh, it'll help that to get out. There's an extra little note because we kind of, I suppose we're kind of talking kind of around here. So on the inside, oh no, where's it gone? It's here. I thought it was here at the front. So on the inside, um, so that you can do some smaller adjustments as, as far as your fit is concerned, hopefully you'll be able to see running round here there is a drawstring. Um, with this one it uses some bungee cord and there is one of those pinch tabs uh, so, that you, so that you can adjust um, just how well or how, how it fits. Zip you back up again. Oh. Now as far as additional kind of pockets that you have on some other smocks, maybe a secondary side pocket or one on the butt, um, this is a fairly simple civilian style smock. So it's a perfectly clear panel on the back which, like I say, I think that's the difference between the, uh, the windproof smock and the L4, L4 Recon smock is, it's, it's designed to be less kind of military looking. As far as the sleeves are concerned, the cuffs at the bottom, you have hook and loop closure on here. Now, if I open these as long as they can go, they open up like a wizard sleeve, which is great. If you've got gloves, or big shovel hands maybe, you're not gonna have any issues getting them into here. I fold it over just like that uh, and, and it's, 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 it's just great for mine. Uh, the hook and loop on this is really nice and is easy to adjust. Then coming up the sleeve you have bicep pockets and these are the same on both sides. So hopefully you can see here, so you have a zip on here uh, which opens from the top and pulls down to open. Uh, and then you have some hook and loop, as I mentioned, on both sides. And as is starting with the tradition, so as this is from Finland, I have the Finnish flag on here, just to show my appreciation to the beautiful people of Finland and its beautiful land. There you go. So, um, so yeah, where were we? So yes, bicep pockets. Um, they're fairly low profile as well, so rather than having um, kind of bellows on the side so that these can expand out, uh, there is no expansion on the outside, across the bottom or on the inside either. Now personally, let's, let's, let's put, I can put my car keys in there, let's grab my wallet, where's my wallet? This is kind of, oh damn it, I've got my wallet in there. It doesn't particularly, doesn't particularly need it. I mean, if you're the type of person that still, even in a civilian setting, maybe wants to carry a 
tourniquet or an IFAC or something, you could still probably fit something in here. It would probably be more of a bumps and scrapes kind of kit. But the option's there if you choose to, because they are still quite large, but you're not going to be able to put an entire family plus a kitchen sink in there. Now, talking of entire families, let's get to the hood, because the hood on this is awesome. And I mean awesome. It's massive. So, zipping up... Oh, where have we gone? You have some pulls on the front here, just in case you want to pull this down. And then on the back, rather than doing like an elasticated pull on the back, it uses the very old fashioned tried and tested piece of material here. So you can, you can kind of pull this down to, to kind of pull it back to make sure that it's just, it's just about right on your face. It doesn't have one of those reinforced brims on it, but I, I, don't, I don't feel that it needs to. I have a huge head and I like large hoods. So having a huge head and liking large hoods, there's a, there's a synchronicity between those. Um, but you will find that when you first put this on, because when it comes in, um, you, you, you get kind of a, a gnome's peak at the end. So you just have to ruffle it a little bit. Uh, and then after a few days of wearing, you'll find that it'll become just a little bit smoother and it, it, will, it will sit better on your head. But again, if you are doing something outward bouncy, maybe you are wanting to put a dirt lid underneath this, maybe you're doing some climbing or something, it will fit underneath here because there's plenty of room. Now I mentioned that family, if it is you're lost out in the woods and you need to take this off, you can, you can store a family of five plus two dogs and an aardvark underneath this hood and be able to use it as a, as a, a makeshift bivvy for at least three weeks, which is great. Now on the inside, so I kind of touched on this before, so at this moment of time I'm just, just wearing my wolfhound, but on the inside here, hopefully you'll be able to see, so here is, here is the zip and then here is the inside lining of the zip. So similar, they've definitely taken some more, some inspiration from other military garments is the fact that you also have some additional buttons here. Some additional buttons on the inside here and then also across where the top is. So, so here, here is the hanger. There's also an additional hanger here, uh, but here's the hanger and then here you have two buttons. Uh, so Veris de Lecker also do a liner for this, which you can add onto it. So as I mentioned, as far as thermal properties are concerned, um, other than the fact that this will keep you out of the wind, which has a, an amazing knock-on effect of, of keeping you warmer, um, it's, it's not lined at all, so if you want to get it lined, then you can purchase the additional liner, and there you go, you kind of got best of both worlds, and you've got a smock that you can evolve and you can change to, to whatever your surroundings are. I'm really impressed with this. It goes hand in hand with me talking about Veristeleka and a lot of the items that I've tested from them. I don't think there's anything yet that I've kind of had any issues with. I've been around this, I've checked for loose threads, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, the craftsmanship on this is, is incredibly good. Now that probably actually, that leads me to, to another good point. So at this moment in time, the version that I have on here, these are made in China by, um, by one of their, a company over there that they've been using for a while that's trusted to, to kind of make their garments. Uh, Veristeleka are in the process of bringing everything back to Europe. So you've kind of got a couple of options. If you wanted to pick one of these up now, and these are the ones that have been made in China, I think they're going, I think they're about 88 euros. I will have to double check that. I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave a note here exactly what the price is. I think it's roughly, le, le, roughly, roughly 90 euros. Um, they have a, a process that they're calling Mega, which is make Europe great again, and they're, they're bringing stuff back, and it will be made, these will be made either between Finland, Estonia, and I believe Poland as well. 
because it's coming back into Europe, they, they have confirmed that the prices will go up slightly because European labour is just a little bit more than it is in China. So you've kind of got a couple of options. If you want to stay Europe and you want to say, yes, I'm happy to invest a little bit more into something that I know is made here in Europe, then keep track of their website and you'll be able to see when, when those new lines, or at least the same lines come in that have been made in Europe. Or, I mean, if, you, if you're happy to go with my word, I'm, I'm incredibly impressed with the build quality of this. If you're happy with something that's been made in China, then you can pick up one now for the current price. When they come back into Europe, you will find that they're just, they're just a little bit more, but it's definitely worth it. I've become a bit of a fan of smocks this winter um, and I'm making it my mission to test as many smocks as possible to find. No, it's actually, no, I don't want to take that back. I don't think any smock is better than anything else because they're all ever so slightly different in their own little way. Uh, but yes, I definitely want to test out more smocks. Now, I want to say a huge thank you to Verstelecker for sending this to me. Um, I feel like I say this a lot, but I have an excellent relationship with the people there. If I didn't like this, or if there were some issues that I was unhappy about, they're more than happy for me to give my honest opinion, and yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just another great garment from them. So what I will do is, I will leave their links below so that you can see more from Verestelecker, their Sarma gear, all the other gear that they do, their Sarma TST gear, I'll leave the links below. I'll leave some of my social media links so you can see more from me here on Moorlander EDC and my sister channel Moorlander Tactical. But for now, as always, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC. It has a lovely hard, large hood. Find somewhere that's flatter and better. Flatter and better. Flatter. Mm, mm, not necessarily better, but it will do. Oh, felt like something was in my pocket then for a second. Let's check Los Odianos. It's not even a word, but you know. I'm my own boss. I get to invent my words with another incredibly nice outdoor garment from Vera Stilecka. This is the windproof, sorry, no. Come on. EDC out today with another incredibly nice, at nice, no, at incredibly nose. Nobody knows like the Moorlander knows. Bop, 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 bop. Moorlander EDC out in the wilds again with another very, very nice, very nice. Ooh, oh, it's just lovely and nice. It's, oh, it's lovely and nice. It's nice. Chicken! In fact, let me turn this around. Can you see it? Where are we? That tree. Nope. The, that tree. That tree was stood up last weekend. It's been very windy, very windy.